Excuse me. Yeah? Mr. Sun, how do you know Grandmaster Fung? You questioning how a geezer like me could know a Grandmaster like Fung? I can read you like an open book. That's not... We're simply friends through martial arts. We've known each other for a long time now. The world of martial arts is a mysterious one. An exchange of blows can speak volumes about the opponent. I see. Nah, never mind all that. Are you sure? Yes. Now I just want a nice stiff drink. Oh. Do you have a moment? I'm also rather hungry. There must be some steamed buns around here somewhere. Uh, sorry. Excuse me. Welcome to my Baijiu stand. Come again. Excuse me. Hey there, young man. I've got the best prices. Want to trade tokens for prizes? With that amount, here's what you can choose from. Nothing strikes your fancy? You don't have any cloth on you, do you? Sorry, what? A skilled textile worker is looking for some high-quality cloth, so I've been asking around here and there. Oh, okay. I've been told it's cloth that can only be found here in this village. Do you think you could do me a big favor and find some for me? There's something nice in it for you. Rare at that. All right. I'll keep an eye out for it. Where should I look? I was hoping you'd know the answer to that. That's why I asked you. You'll have to poke around the other shops, I'd imagine. I'm sure you're right. Excuse me. I was... Oh. If you have any... Well... Having I'll
Xia Lian? Yes? Sorry to bother you. Can I interest you in some food? What? Not hungry? Not right now. Don't worry about the money. It's on the house. That's very nice of you. Excuse me. Hiya. I hate to bother you, but... No loans, no credit. <sighs> Getting kids to do his dirty work. Huh? I know Guangming sent you. No, Guangming didn't put me up to anything. No? Good. Then we can talk. Are you sure? Ex Yo, Guang, he's... Okay, Hello there. Howdy, come on in. Excuse me. Gorgeous. Oh, stop that, young man. You're going to make my heart skip a beat. If you're going to tease, be gentle, dear. Sorry to bother you. Well, I'm sure in a pickle. What's wrong? Ever heard of the Linger mushrooms? They're great for making medicine, but a little hard to come by nowadays. Ah, I see. I've got a customer who wants them, but I can't get hold of any. Say, how about helping an old lady out and looking for some? Sure thing. I'll see what I can do. Ha! <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Where might I find them? I used to see them by the waterfront all the time. And by waterfront, you mean... Oh, any old place, so long as it's by a river or a pond. Understood. Mr. Ka. What is it? What do you want? Oh, nothing. Sorry, but mind if we talk later? My house is a total mess, and it's gonna take a while to clean up. I see.
Excuse me. You've only got one shot. Will you take it? No, thanks. Don't look so glum, chum. One shot will cheer you up. Not right now. If you say so, nothing lifts the spirits like a great game. Hi there. I've been meaning to have a little chat with you. You're the first male friend Shenhua's brought around. That's not... You be good to Shenhua, you hear me? Okay. Hi there. Shenhua's like... Okay. Excuse me. What is it? What? You don't need anything? I'll get it later. Sorry to intrude. Oh, it's you. Have you got the goods? Linger mushrooms, right? I've got them. Good job, kiddo. I knew I could count on you. I know it ain't much, but it's only right. Go ahead and take something for your trouble. Fishing? I handle fishing licenses around here. You want to fish? You can fish in the river behind the Sunflower Grove. Thank you very much. Well, since you're here anyway, the least you can do is buy something. I have so many things that it's hard to keep track. Are you all right? Ah, just a little too much to drink. That's all. <laughs> Nothing another drink won't fix. I need to go. Hold your horses, laddie. This ain't no race. Come have a drink with me. 
Not right now. Not a fan of the bottle, eh? Then how about playing a game? Me? I like flower, bird, wind, and moon. Not now. Good on you, laddie. If only I'd quit then. Damn it, why'd I get so carried away? What are you doing? Hey, bro! They say a ghost appeared. What of it? Hmm. You don't believe me, do you? It's real, you know. I went to check it out without telling my mom. Then swoosh! I saw a soul float right past me. Ling and Jer cried, and they're still scared. I want to go exercise the ghost. Come help me, bro. All right. I'll go alone, so the two of you go home. No, I want to come too! Kids shouldn't be out when it's dark. He's right, you know. Fine. Don't bother coming back until you exercise that ghost. Yep, I promise. Excuse me. Yes? I hate to bother you, but... If you have something to ask, I could go get my mother. That won't be necessary. Could you ask my mother? Uh, okay. I'm flattered, but no thanks. Oh, it's you. So you'll come to work for us? I have other things to do. Sorry to intrude. My goodness, you've come! Er, not to work. You handle cloth here, right? Wouldn't be a weaver if I didn't. I've got enough to go around. Is that so? Yes, but never mind that. I heard you saved Yenshin. Oh, well, I wouldn't go that far. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. He's like a grandson to me. Please, allow me to thank you. Gui Ying's been sick for so long. You don't have to, really. Won't you take some of my cloth? Would that be enough? Are you sure? Of course. I'm offering. Thank you very much. 
move in and work for me, and you'll never want for cloth again. That's taking things a bit too far. Excuse me. I was wondering when you'd sh I have. Yes, wonderful! This is the thin silk they weave in Bailu, right? I mean, I assume so. I've heard a lot about it, but I'd never actually seen it until now. You can't find cloth like this easily, even in a big town like this. I can imagine. Now then, here's the treasure I promised you. A sculpture of a distinguished monk. I promise you, this is a very precious item. Trust me, it's worth the trade. I'll take your word for it. Thank you. Say, do you have anything else to sell? <laughs> 